I started writing Prodigal about a month after my mother died. Um, I had the first line and not much else. I didn't know what I wanted to, to do. I didn't know at the time that I wanted to write a novel about death and about death within the family. Um, what I knew was that I wanted to distance it from myself. Um, I'm not in any way Jeremy. I've never been a softcore pornographer, to my knowledge. Um, I've never lived in Paris, although I know the city quite well. Um, and I've never lived in Whitstall either, although I know Whitstall reasonably well too. Uh, what I had was a feeling of um, having to deal with grief. Um, grief is generally seen as a kind of closure. The, the, the point of grief is to close an experience in a, in a, in a way which is uh, not satisfactory exactly, but a way which is conclusive, let's say. Um, what struck me, what strikes me about the whole process of grief is that it actually opens up, it opens things up, it opens up a space, and a space that has to be filled by the components of the, of the, of the grieving family, of the, of the people who have uh, lost the person. Um, the novel is about, it's about that kind of dramatic rearrangement of, um, of the members of a family. Uh, it's about discovery, it's about uh, realising that the person you think you are might not be the person you are. Um, in many different ways. Uh, I think it has a certain uh, comic element uh, because finding out that you're somebody other than the person you think you are can also be comic. Um, uh, prodigal, the title, comes from two, uh, the, the double meaning of the word. One is the errant son who returns, and that's certainly the case in the novel. The other one is somebody who's wasted, uh, who has been given a great deal and has wasted it. Um, and I think that's also true of, uh, of my hero, my main protagonist, Jeremy.